Hey guys, welcome back. This is another booster dose and Omicron update. A lot of you have asked me questions regarding the booster dose and I hope this video will give you some clarity about any thoughts which are there in your mind. I know the booster dose is in everyone's thoughts as Omicron is spreading all around the world. But this video will help you understand what a booster dose is, when you need it, who needs it and if you fall into that category where you do not need it, how to think, how to plan and how to go about deciding whether you need a booster dose or not. If you're somebody who has just clicked on this link and this is your first time watching me. I'm Dr. Santosh Jacob. I am an orthopedic surgeon and a COVID-19 physician from the beautiful city of Chennai, Tamil Nadu in India. I believe that information about a disease is the first step you and I can take towards beating that disease and this video is just about that. All right, let's go straight into what we can learn about the booster dose. Just to give you a background, the booster dose is not yet approved in India. So whatever we are discussing in this video is just a hypothetical talk about the science which is behind the booster dose. That said, many countries in the world like the US and Europe have already started to approve booster doses. So most of our discussion will be based on evidence and information we have gathered from them. Now let's understand what exactly a booster dose is. A booster is defined as an additional or a supplementary dose of the vaccine administered at the optimum time and at a calculated dose. It could be either one-fourth, half or full, depending upon which the vaccine sustains or keeps the promised and expected efficacy. That's not it. Without compromising safety over the required period of time, which for an annual vaccine like COVID-19 is 12 months. The reason why it is not actually easy to approve or say that the booster dose is okay is because there are many parameters which we have to study. Those are when to give the booster dose. Is a good time six months or nine months or is it three months in an annual vaccine like COVID? What is the actual amount you will give? Because safety is paramount. We have decided that anybody will get X amount of a vaccine in the first dose and in the second dose based on a lot of trials. This is still going on in many countries with the booster dose. The third thing is who should receive it first? Who are actually deserving to get vaccines as a booster when a lot of the world is not yet vaccinated. And four, which of the vaccine to use? The whole world has numerous types of vaccines. mRNA vaccines are there. Inactivated vaccines are there. Viral vector vaccines are there. Is it okay to mix? And if we are mixing, what is the dosage again? What is the time again? And most importantly, what are the side effects? What is the safety parameters? You guys would have understood now that it's not very easy to say with confidence that a booster dose is okay for any population because it involves checking of the clinical symptoms to see if people who have been vaccinated twice have gotten sick then to compare their antibodies in the lab and finally to give different doses at different times to see if safety and efficacy is good. So how many ever scientists are involved? The volume is so high that six months or eight months will not be enough for us to decide if a booster dose is safe. That said, in a world of scarcity, intelligent exceptions to the general rules is the best way to survive. So let us gather evidence from the countries where booster doses have been approved and see which are the group of people most likely benefited by a booster dose. Number one, people who did not create an adequate immune response from the first two doses. Clinically, it can be identified as somebody who got COVID after the vaccination and got sick. The other way you can identify it is by doing an antibody test, even though it is not deemed very accurate. Number two, people who are in the front lines. 
hospital workers, policemen, anybody who has a higher chance of meeting somebody infected with COVID-19. Three, those who are immunocompromised, that is those who need medication to bring their immune system down because they are being treated for other diseases where their immune system has to be suppressed, like maybe they need an organ transplant, maybe they've had a major surgery, or maybe medication for other immunologically related disorders or somebody who is needing a stem cell transplant. If it is a medically induced immunocompromised status, they might need a booster dose. Number four, anybody who has a possibility of getting a severe disease and landing up in ICU, if they get infected with the COVID-19 again, that is somebody who has comorbidities. If you have morbid obesity, hypertension, diabetes, lung disorders, cardiac issues, anybody who is deemed to have a higher possibility of landing up in the ICU will be benefited with a booster dose. Now, if you are somebody who does not fall into the above four categories, but you still want to take the booster dose because you want to travel and you're afraid, but you have created a good immune response. Your antibodies are good and you haven't fallen sick. So why do you want to get the booster dose? Is it to prevent yourself from getting infected by variants? If that is the reason, then just think with me. The entire world is vaccinated very inequitably. India has vaccinated above 50%, the US above 60% in most states, UK around 65, Australia above 50, and most of Asia is also above 40%. But a point to note is Africa has only vaccinated 3 to 5% of its population. Now let's stop there and go to another epidemic, the HIV epidemic. Out of the 35 million HIV infected in the world, Africa is housed to 69% or 24 million of them. And all of us know that the COVID virus has a greater chance of mutating when it replicates in somebody who's immunocompromised. And Africa, guys, is just vaccinated 3%, which means as long as Africa is not vaccinated, the possibility of mutants coming out are much, much higher. And whether you get vaccinated with this booster twice or thrice, it will not really matter because taking the same vaccine again and again will not necessarily make you immune against the newer variants. The only way for us to save ourselves by stopping the new variants is by getting equitable vaccination all over the world. And unless we who have access to additional unnecessary vaccines decide how much we need, the rest of the world where vaccines are not there will not receive them. So just think and decide if you're somebody healthy, whether you need the booster dose or not. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or if you have any thoughts on what I said, kindly drop it in the comments below. And also, if you found this information useful, like, share and subscribe and also hit the notification button so that you get such regular updates. Signing off from the beautiful city of Chennai in Tamil Nadu, India, Dr. Santosh Jacob. Thank you.